Hi, we're back. Thanks for staying with us. Joined now by Roger Schlesinger. He's also known as the Mortgage Minute Guy in certain circles. Uh, Roger, good to see you. Good to see you, Don. Now, Roger, you said something before we went on the air. You said you are really upset. <laughs> Why are you upset? Well, because I don't know that I can keep doing this mortgage business because they have made it absolutely impossible. Uh, I, they just keep adding things that make no sense. For instance, and I've talked on the air about this very guy. He's a multimillionaire. He's got about four or five million liquid. He has a house worth 1.4 million. He owes 185,000 on it. His total debt to the world right now is 235, 235,000. He wants to borrow 100,000 to fix up the house so he doesn't have to take his investments out of there. Right. And 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 then he's going to sell the house mm -hmm. a couple years from now. I'm going in my fourth month. We had it to fund it. It was ready to fund. When all of a sudden they said, well, it's in a trust, yeah. Fannie Mae now wants to look at the trust. For what reason? They, they want to see it. We have title insurance. All a trust is doing is putting it in, in a, a certain title, and title is ensuring that it's the right title and that they'll mm -hmm. cover any mistakes. Doesn't matter. Pulled it. It's been a week now while Fannie Mae is reviewing the trust. Now, this is really what has become a problem in the mortgage industry, is just now they are so concerned, I guess, scared out of their wits of people getting a mortgage that they perhaps don't qualify for, that now they're just going completely overboard in the other direction, aren't they? Yeah, I, I had one this morning where uh, a, a celebrity who I actually represented when he bought his house 14 years ago uh, in, in, in the neighborhood around here, and it's all done, and the appraiser said, well, it looks like he added that second floor. I said, he didn't add the second floor. I represented him. The house is 70 years old. He, how could they have matched the wood you know, <laughs> to look like he added the second floor? It was there when we bought it. I, I'll send you the, you know, no, no, I'm going to pull the permits. Well, he hasn't been able to pull the permits yet. We, we're waiting two weeks. And now the uh, lender wants to have a certificate of occupancy. And I said, where am I going to get that from? You know, I can't pull a certificate of occupancy because there's no action on the house. Mm -hmm. Have the uh, borrower call the county. The borrower is shooting a movie in Europe. So am I going to call him in Europe and say, please call the county of Los Angeles so that you can prove that you have it? I said, I'll get you a chain of title. Well, we're not sure that that's good enough. Can't you just get the guy a ticket to the premiere of the movie? Wouldn't that just... <laughs> <laughs> it, it just goes on and on. Every day I fight these battles, and I'm saying to myself, why? Why am I doing this anymore? Well, you know, there was, a, there was an article on the front page of the financial sections uh, in, on the Internet yesterday saying, is the government about to make the mortgage industry worse? Uh, <laughs> did you read that article? I read the article. It, it really wasn't that bad, but I heard something even worse than that, is that th they now have the financial reg bill that they're going through, and they've... Uh, appointed Elizabeth Warren to be the head of the mortgage industry. Right. She is a Harvard law professor. So what we're adding to the list of people who know nothing about the mortgage industry to head it all is someone else who knows nothing about the mortgage industry. So that should be the, the, the final blow. But that, you know, I would venture to say she knows how to push paper around. Absolutely. I'm sure that we can get 12 more regulations for everything. Amazing. It, well, let, let's, uh, let's try to end this interview on a positive <laughs> okay. note, because I know, I know 10 years from now you'll still be doing this, because I've known <laughs> you for a very long time, so he's not really quitting, folks. But uh, for folks who still want to try to refinance or get a mortgage for a new purchase, uh, if they contact you, they'll, they'll get some good news, right? Right. Well, here's the good news. We have record low rates, and you can shorten your amortization so easily now because of how low these rates are. If you can't figure it out, we'll figure it out for you. Call us at 866-288-0088. That's 866-288-0088, or go to MortgageMinuteGuy.com. Do it for yourself, because you owe it for you, to yourself to change your life forever, which you can do right now. I've watched this man make a 180-degree turn in party affiliation. Roger Schlesinger, the Mortgage Minute Guy. Again, their website is MortgageMinuteGuy.com. Roger, always a pleasure. Thank you.